My students, please take a seat. Today's lesson will be about leopard. Oh, oh my God. There's, there's a good fruit on the board. Finally, why did it take so long for you to just put one good mythical here? Look at what we have come to. Nothing but furs in this classroom. Leopard for PvP is honestly insane. Its base form alone is extremely powerful. It's its skill on top of stunning opponents while firing also has a very large hitbox that breaks, can making it impossible to dodge. While its X skill isn't very widely used due to being more of an asset in combos instead of a standalone. Attack every move in this fruit is very powerful, and the transformation is just something else on top of getting a spammable Ken breaking M1 you also get a 10% defense boost, speed boost and an even bigger speed boost when using the C move. I really can't think of that many cons for Leopard in PvP, except that its X move is its worst move. That's literally it. For PV this isn't really good, maybe against single NPCs like bosses yes, but for grinding, farming, sea beasts or really anything else PV related this fruit falls flat. This is a tough category because this fruit is quite literally 5 mil belly, that is a very steep price. If you are taking this fruit for purely PvP purposes and maybe using it to fight in a few raids or against some bosses here and there it's fine. But for a player trying to grind, farm or do anything more, deeper in PvE this fruit will sorely disappoint you. Only buy into this fruit if you're looking into the PvP aspect. Do that and the price will very well be worth it. For damage Leopard gets an S tier, I was having trouble giving this one an S tier, but it deserves it. Its damage is quite high with its base moves also including its rather powerful M1. For PvP Leopard gets an S tier, I think you all saw this coming. Its speed makes it very hard to catch and also run away from. On top of its moves being so spammable, the fruit itself also having big hitboxes. For PvE, Leopard gets a D tier. This is no surprise given that its moves aren't very cut out for PvE, especially its M1s which lack the proper hitbox size to easily farm enemies like Budokan. For price I'm gonna give it to an S tier, the PvE aspect doesn't even matter for the price. This fruit decimates anyone and anything in PvP, especially if you're running this build with Mink which just makes you a complete beast to deal with. Leopard gets an applause it's rather lacking PV potential, being the only thing holding it back from an S, if it would have gotten a C tier in that category it would have made it. Until next time students, class is dismissed.